Hey everybody, my name is Ian. We're going to be talking about two things. We're going to kind of be talking about some theoretical stuff, but we're also going to learn how to run this equipment and learn how to use it and why it's fun and easy to use, especially for, for recording a, a podcast. So some things that I thought of when you want to consider when planning an episode is how many participants are you going to have in the episode? So if it's going to be you and one guest, then I want two microphones and two headphones. Another thing that can help uh, when you're planning a podcast is uh, writing down a script and or topics. In the planning process, you also might want to think about audio samples that you want to use. This relates to both your intro and your outro music. Sound effects that you use every episode are in the middle, uh, there's a bridge or something. Another thing to keep in mind when planning uh, an episode or a recording is your location. When you're not in a recording space that's designed for recording audio specifically, the AC hum or rumble and the hum of a refrigerator, that sound lives within the same uh, frequencies of sound. So there's different types of microphones out there and different types of microphones are better for different situations. Uh, the first one here uh, that I mentioned is a dynamic microphone. This microphone that we have here is a dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphones are ideal for podcast, radio, and broadcast type scenarios. Condenser microphones are historically used more in music studios. And then another type of microphone are wireless microphones. So how do wireless microphones work? Well, there's a device with a little display, and this is a receiver. And then there's a device with no display, but a little built-in microphone here. And this is the transmitter that has the microphone. Receiver, transmitter. So the way that this works is that the transmitter, which has the microphone, gets set on the person that's doing the speaking, and the transmitter sends the signal wirelessly to the receiver. Then the receiver is connected to whatever device is doing the recording. The Wireless Pro, which is our flagship uh, wireless system, uh, can handle around 220 meters line of sight. So what does that mean, line of sight? That means that the transmitter needs to be in the line of sight of the receiver, generally speaking. As the distance becomes greater and as you don't maintain the line of sight, you might run into audio dropouts. So when you listen back to the recording and if you look at, if, if you're doing a video with the audio, you might notice that in that section where I walked away and turned around, I'm talking and then it goes and then I turn back and, and line of sight of the receiver and you can hear me again. Um, if you connect this right in your computer, your computer will see it as a flash drive and it'll just show you all the recordings there. So you don't need any other software uh, to be able to access these recordings. And, and I'll just add to how yeah. amazing these are because we use them at SIC all the time. You can put them inside the case and when you plug them in there, it charges it up and then you can plug it in the back and it'll charge it up. Cool thing is instead of having to take each transmitter out that's, that's recording to it locally, you can leave them both plugged in and then just plug the whole case into your computer. And then your computer will read them as two separate drives and you can pull off the media from each one. So like this is the most brilliant product for so many different use cases. Shotgun microphones, they tend to be mostly used in film sets or in audio recording and video recording situations where we need the microphone to be out of the shot so that you can't see it. But the idea with shotgun microphones is that due to the barrel, um, they're better at picking up sounds that are in front of them while still rejecting or trying to reject sounds to their left and to their right. Yeah, you can follow Rode on, on Instagram or on different social media channels. You could go to Rode.com. There is a section that says authorized dealers or where to buy, and it'll show you where your nearest dealer is. You could check up with shops nearby. I have that available, but you could also order from our website or from any of uh, the bigger online retailers. And shout out to our YouTube channel. Type in Rode and select the Rode official channel. There's gonna be playlists and those playlists covers each of these different products and they have a bunch of training and demo videos that are super cool. Uh, but thanks again to SIC, Jesus and the team here for putting this together. I'm very happy to have been able to come here and I look forward to being back here in the near future.